Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Keeping It With BB. If you're new, I do fashion, beauty, and lifestyle videos. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back to watch another video. I want to start off by saying thank you so much to everyone who has recently subscribed to my channel. Thank you for all your comments. I read all of them, even if I don't get to reply to them as soon as I would like to. I'm reading them, I see you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for your support. It means so, so much to me. This YouTube journey has been very fun. I love beauty, I love fashion, um, and I love all the things that make my life, my lifestyle, and my own. So thank you for sharing these things with me. It means so much to me to have all of you behind me and supporting me as much as you do. So I wanted to say thank you. I'm very grateful for all of you and the opportunities that I've been given because of this platform. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get into today's review. I'm going to be reviewing Victoria Beckham Beauties makeup line. I have two of her lid lusters. The packaging on these is so cute. It's a tortoise shell. And I have two of her lip liners. I have 04 and 06. And um, let's go ahead and get into this review. So let's go ahead and dip into the lid lusters. So the lid lusters are a pigmented glittery topper type of product. And the first color that I have here is tea rose and it looks very plum and pinky in the pot but for some reason when i apply this color to my eyelid it pulls very gold on me i was hoping that this was going to be a lot pinker um more plum on me but it does pull gold i'm going to apply it to my eye now so that you can see what the color looks like on me It almost blends right in with my with my skin tone. But do you see what I mean? It looks almost like goldish and blends right in with my with my skin tone. It's very fleshy on me. It doesn't look how I thought it was going to look, but it actually I like it a little bit more now than I did the first two times that I that I wore it. So um that is what T Rose looks like on me. And maybe it's because I put down a better base this time, but I actually I actually like it a lot more. It is still fleshy. It is still pulling gold in person um, more so than on camera. I do see a little bit of the plum coming through on camera. Um, but maybe it's because I put down a better base this time. But I'm going to keep layering on and seeing if I can get more of that pink plum color. That is T Rose, and I think that's as much color as I'm gonna get built up on there. On the website, T Rose is described as a warm rose gold with violet pearl infused rose quartz, which is known to promote love, friendship, inner healing, and peace. So that's a really cool thing about the lid lusters from Victoria Beckham Beauty. They are infused with different crystals, um, so I really like that about them i think it's a nice little touch and of course i love the packaging it's so chic i love the tortoise shell here on the lid i believe the lid is plastic but the pot itself is glass so let's go ahead and get into the other lid luster that i have and i have the color mink this is a really popular one and i can see why because it's really pretty and this is definitely my favorite out of the two. Ink is described as a taupe brown with a mix of gold and silver pearl and infused with tiger's eye, which is known as the gemstone of courage, strength, and personal power. And I will say when I have this on, I feel confident. And I guess that comes from the tiger's eye, but I feel like a boss when I have this eyeshadow on. It's just, it gives you that, that vibe and that feeling and that persona about yourself so I'm gonna go in with my ring finger with this one and then I'm gonna go in with the brush to kind of um, diffuse it out some so now I'm just gonna take the other side of the brush that I used for key rose and just dip into the pot here and just kind of 
get this inner part of my eye as much as I can. I don't like to put my finger too close in there because I tend to make a mess if I do that. So, kind of, kind of smudge it right here on the ends. This is the eyeshadow that I had on in the um, gift guide, and a lot of people were asking me what eyeshadow I was wearing, and this is the one. So when I put on mink, it kind of gives me that smoky eye vibe, so I want to end up bringing it out a little bit more and kind of um, blurring the edges some, because it gives me that smoky eye vibe, and... Your girl cannot do a smoky eye. So this is as close to a smoky eye as I'm ever going to get. Just try to kind of clean it up some. Let me try to clean it up a little bit here with... I'm going to take this fluffy brush right here and just the tiniest bit of concealer on here and just kind of clean up that edge a little bit. Just because I don't want it to be... I don't want it to look round i want it to be more of like a pulled out diffused foxy eye look um i didn't do this last time i wore it but i want to do this i've seen katie jane hughes do this she'll take a very very small amount of concealer and just kind of clean up her eye looks and i really like the way that that looks i love mink now you guys see what i mean by mink it's like a true gunmetal on me um, let me swatch these on the back of my hand for you. It is a taupe, but on me, since I am brown skin and I have, um, you know, some gold, golden undertones, leaning more neutral, it pulls more gunmetally on me than it does taupe. So this is mink, and this is tea rose. Tea rose looks a lot more plum and pink on the back of my hand than it does on my eye. Isn't that crazy? I really can only see the gold specks in here and a base of what looks like to me brown and I think that's why it looks so much like my skin tone. And then this is mink. You can see the silver glitters in this more on my skin tone. Gunmetally and glittery in this fleshy and gold. I feel like I could add more of T-Rose just so you can see what T-Rose looks like kind of um, pulled up a little higher and blurred out on me kind of like what I did with with mink on my left eye. I'll do that for you over here as well. It's like I can keep building up T-Rose and you just can't really see it on me. It's not buildable on me at all. As you can see there, I'm going to take just a very small amount of that same concealer and clean it up a little bit just how I did on my left eye so we can get literally the same eye look with two different colors. And I don't, I don't experience fallout with these, which I really, really enjoy. I feel kind of silly doing this review at this time now because I just went on their website and saw that T-Rose and Mink are both sold out because they had a Black Friday sale and they're having another holiday sale right now and they're having 20% off. And I did purchase all of these things during their Black Friday sale, so I did get 20% off. So if you were interested in these two colors, they are sold out, unfortunately. I'm sorry, um, but let's go ahead and get into the lip liners. The two lip liners that I purchased are... What are these called? So the lip liners are called the Lip Definers. And she has six colors. And I really love how Victoria Beckham made sure that her lip liners were inclusive. And they are. She has a nude for, I feel like, any skin tone. So I'm just going to swatch these for you really quickly. 04 is a mauve lip liner. It's a pretty deep mauve lip liner. The deepest that I found that works on my skin tone. And... 06 is a dark brown lip liner. So this is 06 and this is 04. 06 pulls a lot deeper on my lips than it looks on my hand. So you'll see when I put when I put it on 06 
and 04. And I skipped over 05. I don't think I should have because I feel like 06 can be a little dark for me, um, which is good because there are some lipsticks that I feel like I need a really dark lip liner for. And it's also good because that means that it's going to work for, you know, skin tones a lot deeper than mine as a nude or as a lip liner or anything that you want it to be. So I'm going to go ahead and try on 04 with one of my favorite mauve lipsticks and I'm going to show you what it looks like. So you can also choose to purchase a sharpener with the lip liners and I purchased one sharpener because I don't need two of these sharpeners. I only need one um, and this is what it looks like. I'm just going to sharpen this pencil. I have never used this or sharpened it so that worked really nicely. And what I really like about this mauve lip liner is that it's actually deep enough and shows up on my on my lips. And I have Innocence from Zuzu Lux, and this is what I wanted that to be. The Innocence from Zuzu Lux is not deep enough for me. It's not, you know, a rich enough mauve for my skin tone, and it doesn't do what I need it to do. So... I could actually wear this color alone, and I have, and I think it's really, really pretty. I like it more so matte. I have on a little bit of um, lip gloss just because uh, I knew I was going to be putting on lip products, and I didn't want my lips to be dry, but this is 04. It's really pretty alone. Uh, and now I'm going to go in with Vapor Beauty's Lipstick in Madam. And I just love how these lip pencils, lip definers, just really shape my lips and get them ready for a lipstick because sometimes mauves can be a little bit, I don't know what the word is, but sometimes when I put on a, a mauve lipstick, it can kind of like pull away from the shape of my lips. So I really needed a lip definer for my mauve lipsticks that are a little bit too light for my skin tone, which this one can be a little light sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't really blend in with my look and my lips and the way that I need it to look on me. Um, so I really like these lip definers. Now I'm going to go in with 06, which is the deepest lip liner in the Victoria Beckham Beauty Lip Definer lineup. And this pulls very deep on my lips, a lot deeper than it looks on the back of my hand, you'll see. I think this would be a dupe for Max Chestnut from what I've seen. I've never owned chestnut, but it is a very deep, dark brown. So this is what it looks like. It's very dark on me, but I have a lipstick from Ilia that I couldn't wear before because it was just not deep enough on me. It just, I needed a lip liner for it. This is what it looks like. It's called Cinnabar. And it looks like it would work for me on my the back of my hand, but Without a lip liner, it just doesn't, it doesn't work. So I'm going to put it on. I'm making a mess is what I'm doing. It kind of gives my lips like a frame to kind of work with. If I want to use a shade that is just not deep enough for me, it makes it work for me. So I'm gonna go and outline my lips a little bit more again with 06. And 06 can be, it can be a little intimidating for me sometimes just because I've never really worn a lip liner this deep. This is why I think I should have gone with 04 instead of 06. I will keep 06 just because there will be times when I need something this deep um but I am going to purchase 04 for lip colors that aren't as dark and I still need a 
brown lip liner on the outside but you guys see how it just made that lip color so much more wearable for me and I just kind of like blur out the edges a little bit just to make it kind of make it look better and I'm just gonna kind of clean up a little bit with the same brush that I used around my eyes but yeah I think this lip is really pretty this is the lip that I had on in my gift guide as well along with this eye look um I love so let's zoom back out and we'll do a little recap of all the products this is my finished look with T Rose and Mink and I demoed both of the lip liners for you which I love I feel like they're really nice and creamy they glide right on the lips I love her shade range in the lip liners I'm gonna pick up another one I'm gonna get 04 and I really enjoyed the formula of the lid lusters they are really good Again, T-Rose is not what I thought it was going to be, but everybody's skin is different. Our skin tones are different, our undertones are different, and the way that our skin pulls and holds on to colors is just different. You may be my skin tone or close to my skin tone, and T-Rose may pull very plum on you. It may not look fleshy on you like it looks on me. Um, and that's the beauty of makeup. It looks different on everybody. So I wanted to mention that, and I love mink. This is my favorite. This is gonna be my go-to holiday eyeshadow all December long. Um, and into the new year, I would definitely still be wearing mink. I feel like it's a really good um, winter eyeshadow color for some reason, and an occasion eyeshadow. I really, really love mink. If you get any lid luster from Victoria Beckham Beauty, I definitely recommend mink. And I'm gonna pick up Midnight as well, which is the beautiful deep dark blue. And I'm gonna get that before her holiday sale is over. Um, I really like all the products that I have from Victoria Beckham Beauty. I'm excited to try some more products from her line. I love that she's created a clean and inclusive line thus far and I'm excited to see what else she'll be releasing soon. I feel like there's a mascara in the works and possibly a foundation or a tinted moisturizer. So let me know what you guys think about this look and the products that I reviewed here today and if you're thinking about picking up anything from Victoria Beckham Beauty. I hope you're all doing well and enjoying your December thus far. I'll catch you guys next time.